you were selling what were you selling? Okay, let me see this. You go there. How does this don't come down? You're, sell, you're saying you're selling telecommunication. Does that right mean here. you're selling? See right here. This, this article to write five thousand dollars. You go. You go. You go to the article. See that? Gratitude inmate. Oh, arrest- gratitude for. Oh wait. Oh wait. Grat- gratitude for inmate arrested for contraband. Oh my gosh. So you are a 34-year-old inmate, Wallace Peoples, and charged him with possession of contraband and weapons or implement of escape. People were, people was in possession of three cell phones, five chargers, five headsets, an iPod, and a wireless hot in a wireless hotspot. He was arraigned and was bail was set for five thousand mm-hmm. dollars. I ain't, I can't make bail because I was already in jail. You see what I'm saying? So I'm already in so jail. So you were in, you were again, I was you were in, in jail again. Yeah. You were in jail and they were going to- I was in jail they, doing my they time. They arrested doing you again in, in jail. Yeah, yeah. And, but, so but what I'm, happened to you then? Nothing. <laughs> they just arrest you, throw you in a hole. I spent like six months in the hole. Kick me out of that facility, send me to another in the, facility. Is that like, like when you're literally by yourself in a hole? Yeah, you in a cell. So that's true. When you see that on television, 23, that's true. Yeah, 23, 23 hours in the cell, one hour out for the yard. How like big a dog was the cell? Small, smaller than where we at. Real small. and uh. And, and, that, and that was like, man. How long were you in that, you said? Six months. How did you not go crazy? I read, you know, uh, when, you, when you be, you, you know, you just condition yourself for things like that, being in prison. So it was like, you know, it's always, always like that, you know? So how did you get that stuff? You, <coughs> then you went on Google. How did you figure out? No, I just started Googling things. And anything I had to put it like, I started Googling. And then I started watching like tutorials and stuff on, uh, on a, on a, on a YouTube, but that's where I started Wallow 267 Instagram when I, when I had the phone in 2013. So I started it and I started doing all type of stuff. I was spraying my message then in jail, but I would put like quotes and stuff up there. I would try to promote people in the community. Like they had shows or clothing lines. I was doing all that from prison. If you go back, if you go all the way down my page, you will see things from when I was in prison. Hold up. So you actually had, you had that, you started Instagram I started, I started, I started my while Instagram. you were in jail. I started my Instagram in prison. Yeah. How did you keep the phone from not getting caught? Like, how did you like hide the phone? Didn't they catch you? No, what happened was uh, I had it for hid for a while and then, you know, I had it for like 13 months and then they caught me. They hide it in the ceiling and all that stuff. Might told on me, but you know, that's part of life. But you all could the, plug in the phone and didn't Yeah, you can plug in your phone in your cell. No, you in your cell. Hide it behind, under the bed. But listen, this is the thing. The thing was that uh, what I've learned on there. Is why, I'm, is why I was able to come out here and just destroy shit. Because when, when I'm looking at, you know, I learned so much. And uh, one, of my, one of my teachers, rest in peace, uh, he was my teacher from afar, Anthony Bourdain, right? Now, let me explain something to you about him. Parts unknown, no reservations to lay over. He was a legend to me. And when I sat in that cell and I used to watch him on the travel channel, CNN, whatever, uh, he let me know, you know, he, he's a guy that used to shoot dope, was a heroin addict, and he came back. Yeah. He encouraged me with the, he, he was, and you know what was so crazy? I always say when I get out of jail, I'm going to meet that guy. And he died, you know? And he, and it was like, it was, it was, it was a, it was a painful day for me seeing that. Cause I'm like, yo, I wanted to, I just had to meet him and really had a conversation with him. You know what I mean? Cause I watched him so many years in my cell in prison. Wow. And like, he was a legend. Rest in peace to Anthony. Uh, uh, you know, shout out to his family, you know? And, uh. You never got to meet him. Never got to meet Anthony. And I met people that knew him. I was like, shit. I would, you know, so it was just crazy, man. You know, so. But when I seen that, I said, okay, when I get home, I'm going to utilize this technology, you know, because, you know, me in jail studying things, understanding colors, understanding attention span, marketing colors, understanding. I said, okay, I realized that human beings in this day and time, they first listen with their eyes, then they listen with their ears. It's a visual connection and it's a human connection. If you can make that human connection, game time. So I said, I'm going to utilize my message, you know, and the backdrop to my message, the canvas is going to be the inner cities of America. And I'm going to say what I'm going to have to say, and I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. And it just, you know, it took off from there, you know? And at the same time, when I was talking about what I was talking about, I, I did like the, uh, I was, you know, I, w- I was mimicking Anthony Bourdain and going to different, like I was doing like uh, ads and stuff for uh, pro- pro- promotional videos for like restaurants or clothing stores in, in my communities in Philly and in the inner cities because nobody was doing it on the black side of things. So I said, I'm going to do that. Once I started doing that, I started taking off. And people just started calling me, yo, how much you charge for an ad? I'm like, oh, shit. A minute ad, uh, 500. Okay, 
how, how do you do the payment? Next thing you know, I'm getting five hundred dollars. You know, just to do an ad on Instagram. Right. So you're monetizing your. Oh Instagram. yeah, I was monetizing my Instagram. Like I wasn't even out of jail for uh, a year, but I was out of. I came home February 18, two thousand and seventeen, and by August that year, my first speaking engagement, I got two thousand dollars for fifteen minutes at a real estate event in Philadelphia, and then it was over from there. Then I started learning about okay. What, what is the one sheet? Okay. What is the EPK? Okay. What is a rider? Okay. What a contract looking like? Speak. And I, you know, and I just started and I just started going, you know, and I went from getting 500, 500 to advertise on Instagram to getting thousands for that one minute. You know, I just started studying the game and uh, looking at my analytics and I was like, you know, this is Democrat and I knew how to, and I knew how to talk to people and why it was important for them to, to get me because nobody could sell like me. You know what I mean? So it was like, I just started doing that. Next thing you know, people booking me for speaking engagements, uh, booking at colleges, you know, Penn State, uh, 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 District of Columbia. Uh, and what are you speaking on? What did uh, you speak on? Uh, on how to how to basically University like, of Maryland. No, I spoke on. I speak. I speak. I, it depends on what you need me to speak about. Do you you are literally to... habits and you are hustle. You yeah, are the I'm hustle definitely. out of habits and hustle. Yeah. You literally hustled while you were in jail yes. to a career you have now. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean. It is unbelievable. So people were like, while you were in jail. So by the way, did, how did people even like, how did you even initially get traction with your Instagram while what happened, you were in what jail? What happened was I was in jail and I used to just put stuff up. What were I you putting to, up initially? I was putting up stuff about, like I used to do these collages, the big pictures. Yeah. So you would stroll up. I was doing that. I was putting up quotes. I was putting up music stuff. And I was, you know, because I didn't do no videos because I didn't want my face to be shown. Like, mm -hmm. only, you know. And I just kept putting stuff up. So when I came home, I just I just went right at it. Were you Boom. surprised? Like how how long did it take you to start? Because you have what you have like five or six hundred thousand yeah. people right now. So how long? Where <coughs> were you when you got out of jail? It was well, you, you've been out for three years, right? So like when, when you got out of jail, how many followers did you have back then? I'm not sure. I didn't pay attention to. It. I just went right in, started doing it. After I started doing my videos, you know, motivational videos, whatever you call them. Uh, Inspiring videos. I really don't like to use that motivational thing. It's like dated, uh, and, and 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 the thought of it puts you in a category of somebody with a baggy suit on is disconnected from what's going on, and I'm not that. So uh, you're definitely not. That. Uh, uh, no disrespect to them because no, they make a shitload that. of money, but I'm just not that. And uh, you know what I mean. But uh, what happened was, I started doing videos, and people from from athletes to rappers, they started reposting my videos. And, uh, Who? Like name some athletes and rappers that started to do that. One of the first people that was big, you know, uh, uh, my cousin, Gilly the Kid, King, he was one of the first people. But then you had people like Meek Mills, Puff Daddy. Um, they were reposting your stuff. They started reposting my stuff. And it was just like, it was crazy. And, and then it's, you know, that brought me a lot of people. Uh, and it was like E40. A lot of people just started posting that stuff, man. And uh, once that happened, things changed. It, it was it's off to the races. Wow. So then basically you're, you're monetizing your page. You're doing a lot of speaking. Now you have a podcast, right? That does very well, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we started a podcast, me and my cousin, Gilly the King. It was a million dollars worth of game. Uh, uh, but 18 weeks straight on, we was, 18, we was number one 18 weeks straight on Apple Music. Uh, number one. In number what category? One episode music. Number one episode in every week. Number one episode in number one show. Uh, 18 weeks, you know. and uh. And who were you? Were you having people on, or were you just having? We was doing us. We had a couple. We only we listen. We had like forty six right now. We and out of well, you're and, with bar stools now. Yeah, we right? at bar stool now. We 